Happy Friday. Man, it was week one and we went through so many different rules and procedures and a whole bunch of stuff. But I am here today um, to share with you a Feel Good Friday vibe. So for Feel Good Friday, I would like to share with you one thing that kind of stood out for me for the week. And um, it actually happened today. And this week, um, I want to say it was Wednesday, we read The Color Monster. Um, and it talks about a monster going through different colors and pretty much getting him to discuss his emotions and feelings. Um, and if you've never heard of the zones of regulation, um, there are different different emotions and feelings that are associated with different colors. Um, and our amazing counselor had rolled that out to our school last year. So I had kind of looked at ways to embrace it this year, especially going up to fourth grade. So my class had read the book. Um, and then afterwards, we kind of talked about how just the place that fourth graders are at and how they'll go a lot of go through a lot of changes and they'll be dealing with a lot of things and that they're not little babies anymore and they're kind of growing up and um, they just kind of realize different things or they look at them in new ways um, and we kind of um, also talked about how they all have different home lives and sometimes someone might be having a bad day and might deal with it differently than someone else um, and that we kind of pretty much all just need to be courteous and aware of that um, so we had many many discussions revolving around that this week um, and we had um, brought to the class our calm down kit and we looked at the different tools and kind of fidget type of things that like they could utilize. Um, we also um, talked about um, an emotional check-in that we have where I have the zones kind of up in our classroom and there's little cue cards um, from Letters from Fourth um, that I found with her awesome posters and the kids could kind of, if they want to talk to me but they don't want it to be a thing where it's like other kids could see um, and not a big deal and more a private kind of a thing. They could like drop me a little note and then put it in this box that we have. Um, and the coolest thing that happened today was one of my kiddos um, had brought in a fidget for someone in our class that could really, really use it. Um, sometimes she just kind of has a hard time coping with certain things and she's very well aware of it. And we've had like discussions of like how I could help her. Um, but this child in my class had brought her a, a fidget and um, he wrote her a little note from him and his mom um, just saying that they thought that she could use it to maybe help her get through her day. And um, when he gave it to her, she was like beside herself, like, this is for me. Like, it was literally um, one of like the heart, most heartfelt moments I've ever had in my teaching career. And he is not um, one of my kiddos to like show a lot of emotion or anything. And he was like overwhelmed with such happiness. And like every time today when she would go and pick it up and, fidget with it like he would just be smiling from ear to ear um, and I left work today just feeling so accomplished because um, with all of the community building type of things and team building stuff that I rolled out this week in my class like that was exactly what I wanted embedded into them and the fact that we left today um, and then that happened um, it just kind of made me so excited for what else is to come this year. So that is my Feel Good Friday. I want to hear from you and what made you feel good for this week. So drop it in the comments. Have a great weekend.